Hi guys, so this video is going to be a revision Q&A and the first thing I want to say is yes, I'm wearing a onesie because I'm still ill and it's comfy. So, I know that a lot of you guys are taking your exams soon and it's kind of like approaching GCSEs and A-levels time and maybe you're not even like doing GCSEs yet, I don't even know. So a lot of you guys have been asking me kind of for advice about exams because obviously I've done my GCSEs and my A-levels and I've now left school, I'm doing an art foundation at the moment. I asked you guys to ask me some questions on Twitter and Instagram and if you guys want to be involved in the next Q&A then just follow me on my Twitter and Instagram, they're both just Sophie Does Nails. Okay, so I'm going to start with the Twitter ones. So Sophie from I Am A Drama Llama, which is the best Twitter name, can I just say? Like, also, I'm pretty sure you were called Sophie McDoof or something on YouTube because I recognise your picture. If that is wrong, that's going to be really embarrassing. She asked me a few questions, so I'm going to answer a couple of them. The first one that I'm going to answer is, how do you keep yourself motivated and balance your time well? I feel like in order to get motivated, you really just have to kind of think about the end goal. Just kind of tell yourself that once this short period of like heavy revision is over, you are going to be done with your exams, it's going to be summer, and you can have a whole summer to relax. It is kind of worth just like persevering and keep up with the revision, and then once you get like the good grades, you will be so happy that you worked so hard. If you put in the work, then you should get the grades, and then you will be so happy and so proud of yourself, and it's just such a great feeling to know that you've kind of spent all this time working on something really hard, and then you get like the results that you wanted. So to kind of like stay motivated, I kept kind of telling myself like it will be worth it in the end, and then once I've done these exams, it will be summer and I can forget all about them. And then for balancing my time well, I didn't kind of do like hardcore revision days where I would literally just like sit there for like 12 hours revising because I just can't like cope with that like I would always get so distracted like I was so bad I would say to balance your time make sure that you're not just solidly revising because you'll get to a point where you just can't take in any more information like your brain will literally just switch off so make sure even when you are doing revision like try and fit in some fun things in between the gaps where you're not revising and I would say to kind of like break it up into small chunks so maybe do like an hour of revision and then like have a half hour break and like have a snack watch a YouTube video or something like that just Make sure you kind of like to balance your time well, make sure you're still doing stuff that like is relaxing and fun because that is important for your like state of mind. I would generally try and do like half a day of revision and then half a day of like relaxing. And maybe that's not the best way to do it, but it worked for me because I wasn't kind of like, oh my god, I have to do a whole day of revising. She also said, What did you get at GCSEs? Um, I got I got A stars in English literature. Um Biology, Physics, Art, and Geography. So yeah, I got A stars in those. I got A's in Maths, Chemistry... I can't even remember like what subjects I did. Maths, Chemistry, English Language, and French. And then I got a B in Drama. So overall, I got five A stars, four A's, and a B. Sarah one j Cat or Sarah Grande. I also speak to Sarah a lot on Twitter, so hi Sarah. Um, she says, any revising tips to make revising fun? To be honest, I never really found revising fun. I would say that the best way to make it fun is do stuff that's like visual, well for me anyway. If I was really, really bored of revising, I would like Google YouTube videos that were related to like the revising. So if you're kind of like stuck on something in biology or something, Google it on YouTube. Google it on YouTube? That doesn't make sense. Search for it on YouTube and the likelihood is there's probably someone that's going to have made a video about it and I find that watching videos and kind of like visual stuff to do with revision is a lot more fun than just sitting there like reading a book. Also I feel like drawing diagrams of stuff like in geography I used to draw so many diagrams when I was revising to kind of like help get it into my head because I think I'm quite a visual learner. I'm not really sure but I think I was. So I would say to kind of like don't just do like all words, don't just like write out like huge long essays when you're revising because that is so boring. At Stas with two S's and three X's says, how do you not get distracted while studying? I think what you need to do when you're revising is make sure you go into a quiet room. Like for me, listening to music and having background noise, just like, no, I got so distracted. And if even like, even if another one of my family members was like in the room watching TV really quietly, it would just distract me so much. So what I would say to do is make sure you're in a quiet room. Also don't revise in your bedroom, like a pretty good tip. I always found that when I was in my bedroom, I would get distracted by like things in my room, like my phone and my laptop. So what I made sure I did is I went downstairs, I would sit at a table, like put all my books out. I would put my phone in another room so I wasn't tempted to like go on it the whole time. I would also like ask my family to kind of like stay quiet and not have like 
the TV on and just generally kind of like respect the fact that I was revising because I would get distracted so easily. So yeah, I would say like keep your phone in a different room and don't revise in your bedroom and make sure you're working in a quiet environment. Megan Parker, who's another person that I talk to a lot of the time on Twitter, says what was the hardest subject you revised for, whether it be subject whether it be because of subject or focus and how did you revise for it. I think probably the hardest subject that I revised for was chemistry. I absolutely hated chemistry. Um, but what I found really, really helpful when I was revising is buying the CGP revision guides. I don't actually have any to show you guys. I wish I did. I think my mum sold more. But yeah, the CGP revision guides I found so useful. They basically like condense everything down into like the most important things and what I would do is I would kind of like read through the whole CGP revision guide because they weren't that long and I found like textbooks so intimidating. I would never revise like straight from the textbook. I would mostly like focus on the CGP revision guide and then do like extra stuff on top of that. Another thing that I did for sciences is I would do all of the past papers that the teachers gave us but I wouldn't just kind of like dive straight into them and do them without like knowing anything because I feel like that was just pointless and I wouldn't like get anything out of it so what I did do is I did all of the past papers but I did them using my books using my like um using like the revision guides the textbooks using um my actual like workbooks I would do the questions using those so then as I was filling out the questions I would look up in my book like how to answer them and then I found once I'd done like a few of the past papers loads of the questions were so similar and I kind of would like get into the routine and like I would not need to use my books as much because I'd like read over it so many times it would start like going into my head and then by the time it got down to like the last sets of the practice papers I would kind of like know the questions like off by heart so I found that that really worked for me. So I got 36 comments on Instagram, I'm really sorry I'm not going to be able to answer all of these because this video is already 15 minutes long. Um, Soph Beadling, hi Soph, she says, what are your most effective exam techniques and when did you do your revision? Um, hmm. One thing that I would say would really help me when I actually got into the exam is as soon as they said that we could like start and as soon as like they said go or whatever, like pick up your pen, start your exam, your exam starts now, like whatever they say, I don't even know. As soon as they did that, I would flip open one of the pages and all of the like key facts that I was trying to keep in my head, I would just like jot them down on one of the pages and I'd just try and like jot down everything I could remember, like the formulas that I needed to know, like places or like case studies so for whatever subject it was, I would jot down all the things that were like going around in my head, just like the main points that I needed. And that way it kind of like relieved my stress a bit because I know like when you go into a, in an exam, like right up until the last moment, I'd be looking at books and I'd be trying to like remember all these different like formulas and facts and all this stuff. And then as soon as I got into the exam and they told us we could start, I would just write all that stuff down. And then it was kind of like, a sigh of relief. So I think that is a pretty good exam technique. I mean, obviously don't do that as soon as you get into the exam hall because that is cheating. You can't write it down before they said start, but just like when you're sitting there, just kind of like go over it in your head. And then as soon as they say go, write down as much as you can remember, just in like bullet point form. Chloe Melville, hi Chloe. Oh my God, we haven't spoken in ages. Says, what are your tips for not getting distracted while studying? And I mentioned this before, make sure you're working in a quiet room and just kind of all the tips that I mentioned a minute ago. Jen underscore Springer XX says where do you do your work slash revision um, I actually do it downstairs in my living room um, on the table because I do have a desk in my room but it's so full of like crap and also like I said before I get so distracted in my room so I go into like the living room and we have kind of like a table and I would put all my books up there and I would make my family kind of go away into the kitchen or something <laughs> um, and yeah I would just revise in there because it was like the quietest place in my house and also like it was quite quite bright in there as well so I wasn't like falling asleep the whole time. I'm gonna answer Jamie's question just in case he's watching. I know this was a joke question but he said did you ever cheat in any tests and no I didn't. And Molly underscore Hogan XO says how long does it take to revise and I love you so much. Thank you very much. I love you too. Uh, how long does it take to revise? Mm. When I was revising I didn't tend to do like more than five or six hours a day because I just couldn't, I just couldn't focus for that long. Like I'm really bad at like just sitting down and working. Like I just get distracted too easily and my mind switches off so I would only do like a maximum of like six hours a day. Emmy.BrownX says, what are your tips for remembering a language? And this is a good question because I did French for GCSE and what I found helpful is when it was kind of like speaking tests, I know for speaking tests and also for um, 
the writing tests, like the written tests. My mum is actually a French teacher, so I got her to help me with my French. Um, and what I did is I got her to kind of record herself reading through my French stuff, and then I would like sit there and listen to it kind of like over and over again, so it helped get it into my head. I also recorded myself speaking it. I would get my mum to do it first so that I got the pronunciations right, and then I would kind of record it myself and then I would sit there listening to it so I would kind of like get it into my head because it was just like repeating over and over again and then also for the essays and stuff I would just like write them out again and again like I don't know like 10 times I'd write out the essays and try and like remember that a bit more each time so the first time I would just like copy it out looking at it and then I would kind of like hide it and then copy out what I could remember and then when I couldn't remember stuff I'd kind of flip over and be like oh that was that um, and then by the end once I'd done it like I don't know like five or so times it would kind of like start to get into my head so I think just like writing it out as much as you can I'm really sorry guys I'm gonna have to skip out some of these questions because I have so many um, it's shanmc.13 says do you set a revision timetable and yes I did set a revision timetable but not specifically to like the hours um, I would just like write what days I was going to revise what subjects because obviously for like GCSE there's so many subjects you can't do all of them in one day so I would do like two or three subjects on one day and then I'd write it down and I will link in the description box like a printout timetable that I used for my exams oh hello my cat's just come to join me Yasmin 07770 says how do you stay calm in the lead up and on the days of your exams and I just want to say something like teachers make out like your GCSEs and A levels are the most important thing like in your life ever but like trust me they aren't really like the most important thing ever I think once you've done your GCSEs you realize that like they really were so much more stressed than they kind of like made out to be and like the teachers made them sound so important and stuff and I mean they are important but like they're not the most important thing in the entire world so I just kind of tried to kind of like keep that in my head and be like it's okay like if I fail one I can retake it or like even if I don't do as well as I like as long as I pass like that's fine like you don't need incredible grades to like do well in life. Tash Ann King says what is your typical routine on exam day do you crack cram last minute studying 100% I was always like revising up until like the minute before we went into the exam I don't know why it just helped me a lot and I found that it stuck in my head that way Becky with two Y's Morgan X says what did you take for GCSEs and what do you recommend I took English language English literature which we had to take I took maths which we had to take three sciences which I had to take I took French as my language I did drama geography and oh what was the third one and art for my options and I would definitely recommend art well if you're into art obviously art has always been my favorite subject I also found drama was really fun and it really did help with my confidence I remember them saying like to advertise drama to us they said that it would help with our confidence and it genuinely did for me I'm losing my voice I'm really sorry Megan Green says what GCSEs and A levels did you take yeah in terms of A levels I took uh, for AS I took biology psychology art and geography and then for A2 I dropped biology because I hated it so much and for my A level results at AS I got two A's and two B's I think. I got A's in psychology and geography. Oh and then my biology grade was a B but then like a couple of weeks after results I got an email saying that like the exam board had got, made a mistake and I'd like gained one mark which took me up from a B to an A which was really cool. So I got three A's and then in art I got a B which was really annoying because I was told like the entire time that I would get an A but I didn't. So that was very annoying considering art is like my best subject. Con Lulu says when did you start revising for your A levels such as Easter and when do you think is the most effective time to start? I would say to start as early as you can even if it's just like making your timetable or just starting like a few revision cards or whatever or revision notes I would say start as early as you can because it genuinely will make stuff easier for you. For my GCSEs and AS levels I started like pretty early I think but when it came to A2 I just lost like all motivation and I left everything like so last minute and it was really really stressful so I definitely recommend starting as early as you can. Mariam.sale, I think that's how you say your name, sorry if that's pronouncing it wrong, says what is your favourite subject? My favourite subject was always always art and I absolutely loved art, like I loved drawing and painting but I did end up getting a B in it for A level. Oh yeah I forgot to mention my A level grades, uh, my overall like A level grades, I got A star in geography, I got 
an A in psychology and I got a B in art so I got A star AB and I was absolutely gutted that I got a B in art because like I was told throughout the whole year that I was gonna get an A um, but I didn't and psychology also like I did actually really enjoy it but it was so difficult like I think our school did OCR psychology I think it was OCR when like everyone else in the whole world seemed to do AQA and OCR was so much harder like oh my god it was so difficult if you don't like writing essays and if you don't like memorizing 72 case studies I don't recommend you do psychology I mean it is very interesting but at our school anyway it was so difficult and so stressful and there was just so much to learn like it was insane and then also I did really enjoy geography as well um I've always been naturally good at geography not really sure why because if you asked me any question about geography now like or about the world I don't think I could tell you like I'm not into like politics or like global geography or anything like that like I'm not actually good at it in myself but when it came to the exams I just did really well and I have no idea how so that is all I have time for I'm pretty sure this video is gonna be like half an hour long my camera is about to die so I hope you guys have found this video helpful my camera just died so if you guys have enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up that would be really helpful also if you guys aren't subscribed to my channel it would be amazing if you would subscribe I really wish you guys all the best of luck in your exams if you're taking exams try not to get too stressed out about them I know they might seem like they are the most important thing in the world but I can assure you they aren't and don't worry if you don't get like all the grades that you want it's okay like life will go on so I hope you guys are having a great day good luck in your exams and I will see you in my next video bye